What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to today's video, which is probably the latest video we've ever filmed that wasn't like at an event, like clutch kickers or something like that. Uh, tonight we are gonna be installing our very first angle mod. As per usual with everything uh, car related, it's always last minute. Uh, my alignment is tomorrow, so me and Logan kind of had to push up the date for installing this. Uh, luckily, Logan is nice enough to do that kind of stuff, and huge thanks to him once again, because like most of what has been done on this car, flat out, would have been done on my back here in this garage, in this tiny garage with no lift, and on sketchy Harbor Creek jack stands, which are somewhere. So big thanks to him, he's made this process a breeze kind of upgrading this car. So what we ended up going with for our first angle mod is the Megan Racing inner tie rods, which add just a little bit of angle. I'm hesitant to say how much angle. I don't want to be torn apart in the comments, but when we get to the shop, we will show how much stock angle we have now versus what we have once we install them. It'll be a little bit biased considering we won't be aligned perfectly, but it is what it is. We'll still do that little test just to see it. Some benefits of these arms over stock is just generally they are stronger. Uh, the stock arms are not built as tough as these supposedly. These are steel alloy. I do not know what the stock ones are. Uh, but regardless, we end up getting the additional angle from this additional little spacer here essentially. It's machined into the inner toe arm. So that way you effectively get more angle without having to change any of the steering components, any of the knuckle, nothing. It's just simply a factor of having more to spread it around uh, in a way, if that even makes sense. Suspension science, I don't understand. So that's it for now, guys. We are going to pack up the car the rest of the way and head on to Logan's. Uh, and yeah, get cranking on this thing. All right, guys, so we have arrived at Logan's shop. Big ass thanks to him. We're, we're, yeah, he's, he's there somewhere. Uh, but yeah, a uh, big thanks to him for doing this on such late notice. But like I said, everything we're doing is pretty much late notice. Uh, just want to show the stock angle real quick before we get going. It's, I feel like that's actually not bad. Like, I don't know, what, like that's not bad. I think that's pretty decent for a stock car. Like when I look at it, I was like, wow, that's kind of impressive. His headlights, even more impressive. Yeah, that's, I can see, yes. Yeah, dude. That's a lot more, like, to me. To me, that's a whole lot more. Like, you couldn't see before. Uh, could you do it one more time? Before, you could not see the inside edge of the tire from looking at the top, but now, like, you can visibly see this right here which yeah that, i think that's pretty sick we'll find out i mean we'll see good stuff this was so fast when we did it too like really quick job obviously this isn't crazy angle this isn't wise fab this isn't an angle kit it's simply an inner tie rod um but this should help quite a bit what is going on guys? We have retrieved the car from Ernie. It feels really, really good. 
Uh, I gotta say, toe out in the front feels a little bit weird. I've never really had toe out in the front. I will admit, there's a few characteristics that are a little weird. It kinda, it's a little bit darty, I'll say. A little more tendency to go with the road wherever it's going. Um, on top of that, one of the benefits though I see is when you're turning, there's not as much of like a body flex when you turn. At zero toe, I would feel the whole chassis in a way kind of like shift when you would turn. With this, not so much. It kind of feels a lot smoother, like the whole chassis is moving as one together into the turn. So that's a little bit weird for me in the sense that I have more stability now in cornering, which is gonna be weird since we don't have that much power. Um, we'll see how this is gonna work out at Black Friday. I'm really hoping it's not like too grippy in the rear um, or it's not too grippy overall. But uh, yeah, I don't know. We won't know till we get there and I'm really looking forward to the challenge. Unfortunately guys, I'm not gonna take this to like a street drifting spot or anything like that. I'm just not comfortable doing it right now. I'm not at that point with the car where I can just hit it and quit it at a certain spot. It, uh, it takes me time and all that adds anxiety and I don't wanna worry about police and stuff like that. But I'm just trying to learn how to drive, be a better driver and just drift and have fun, you know? So right in front of me is a perfect example of why I don't street drift around my area. There's just so many police around here, especially around the beach towns. There's just so many cops that like you do a burnout in one place, cop might hear you half a block away, just drive down the street and see you half smoking tires and you're just so screwed. So uh, yeah, I really try not to push my luck out here. I really wish I could, but um, it's just a decently populated area in South Florida and it's hard to get away with stuff like that. So we're just gonna go to this like little roundabout parking lot and just kind of show the angle and the U-turn because you will be able to know if you own this car personally, you'll be able to see the difference. I'm very confident. Um, it's entirely different. So it's right here in this park. It's this little circle thing. Uh, and yeah, we're just gonna hit it up. But yeah, perfect example right here of why I don't street drift. If I would have done some J-turn or some shit back there, they would have seen it. Uh, I didn't even see them for the longest time. Um, so yeah. Probably not advisable in this area, at least. I do want to find the testing spot at some point, but right now I'm just like not looking for that. I'd rather do it the legitimate way. I very much enjoy uh, driving legitimately, and uh, it. I think there are huge benefits to it, and you should think about it if you uh, if you want to get into drifting, how you want to do it. So yeah, as you can see here, this radius is ridiculous. You should not be able to U-turn in this car in such a tight space like to me this does not make sense whatsoever and it's like mind-boggling um then yeah like i was saying too there's more grip in my previous setup that little gas over right there would have straight up flipped the car over right into a drift um, but because we have the toe out now i think it's a smoother transition thus um a little more stable a little harder to kick the ass out but that's gonna be it for today's video guys I hope you enjoy it as per usual I'm thinking we at least have one more video left as we get ready for Black Friday there's one last-minute touch I'd like to do to the car just for safety's sake and uh, yeah just a couple touches that I think just need to be addressed no matter how I slice it and yeah, it's unfortunate, but when you see something, you gotta do it. Uh, that's my philosophy. So I do not wanna ignore things on this car. Uh, I wanna keep it up to the highest standard I can possible. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you liked it. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace out, bye-bye.